Hello folks, so in this video I'm going to explain how to uh, run a Pharma French free factor regression uh, in R with some data. Uh, so first off we can create a new script uh, and then we need to get the data. Uh, and so here it's very convenient that Kenneth French, one of the founders of the Pharma French free factor model, happens to have compiled a lot of data on the um, high minus low, small minus big, and the market risk premium, as well as a lot of various industry-specific portfolios with daily portfolio returns and whatnot on his website. So in our case, we're gonna make use of the five industry portfolios uh, daily returns as a, C a CSV. So you download the CSV uh, and then you import that into R. Uh, we are also going to make sure to use the Pharma French free factors daily um, factors used in the Pharma French free factor model, uh, and we download that as a CSV as well. And uh, what I recommend you do is that you load those in, and then you um, also uh, merge those into one uh, uh, data set. And when you have those, you can go ahead and do the following. So. This is really simple, really. So run regression. We want to run the regression. And in my case, I've already compiled a data set. Uh, it, I've, I call it cap M and here we have it. Uh, we have the date, we have the risk-free rate, the market risk premium, the SB, HMO. And I've also added some other factors on here that I've downloaded, such as the momentum factor. We also have the uh, portfolios. So we have manufacturing, high tech and whatnot. And I'm thinking that in this test, we're going to make use of the manufacturing portfolio uh, uh, industry uh, returns data uh, to uh, to check uh, the uh, the Pharma French free fighter model. So in that case, we just have to run the regression, and then that's that would do us the following: so you write model, and then you get an arrow, and you write LM, which is the uh, built-in linear regression uh, function in R and we get Manouf and Manouf is then the uh, as you see here that's the uh, the name of that variable in our case and that is that would be the dependent variable and then you write a scribble and everything on the right side of that scribble are the independent variables so in our case that is the uh, the risk free the, the, the market risk premium uh, underscore RF and then you write plus uh, we have the SMB factor and plus the HML factor you also want to get the data set where from where you are getting the data uh, and in that case that would be uh, uh, data equals cap M and the cap M is the name of my data set and in your case it could be whatever you name it so cap M so now you simply run this regression and now we have done the regression. We want to get the uh, the summary of the values. So uh, print summary. Um, in that case, you write summary model. And that's all. So now we have the residuals, we have the p-values, the f-statistics, and the r-squared. So with respect to the uh, uh, manufacturing industry, uh, portfolio returns, we see that the Pharma French fee factor model explains about a zero point, uh, so eighty seven point forty four percent of uh, star, uh, of of the portfolio returns. So this is w uh, a simple example of how to run a Pharma French fee factor model with some data in R.